Hi Pirates, today what we're going to do is we're going to look at some Hess's Law problems. So Hess's Law is basically uh, if you add up all of the uh, heats of reaction uh, that are here, then you get your overall total. But um, you want to make sure that you arrange your equations in such a way that uh, some of the reactants and some of the products end up canceling each other out so that you take a target equation here and you build this target equation from the the individual given equations and to do so you're going to have to flip some of them you're gonna to have to leave some of them the same you're gonna to have to multiply some of them by two three four uh, some of them you're gonna to have to cut in half uh, cut by a third cut by a fourth so all you have to do is take these equations that are given to you and figure out a way to make them be this equation down here now there's a couple different ways that you can go about doing this uh, what I like to do is I like to find unique individual species that don't appear anywhere else in the target equations that you are uh, given uh, and then uh, target those into the equation that you want. For example, we start here with nitrogen. That's one of the things that we need. Now, the only place that nitrogen exists in any of these three equations is our last equation there, equation number three. So consequently, because it's the only place that it exists, I know good and well what I have to do with equation three. I need nitrogen to be on the left-hand side here because it's on the left side of the arrow down here, and it is except I need one mole of it apparently and right now I only have a half a mole so what am I gonna do I'm gonna take this equation and I'm gonna leave it exactly as it is except I'm gonna multiply the whole thing by 2 and if I multiply this whole equation by 2 then 2 times a half gets me my one nitrogen that I need 2 times 3 halves is gonna get me 3 oxygens 2 times a half is gonna get me uh, one hydrogen here and then 2 times the HNO3 is going to get me 2 HNO3s here. And if that's the case, then I have to take this whole shoot and match and multiply him by 2. So that then is going to be 174 uh, twice. So that's negative 348 for that one. Okay, And I can then give him a little green because I have him where he is. Now, your next thought might be to work on the oxygens. Now, the problem with oxygen is that oxygen appears uh, here, oxygen appears here, oxygen appears all over the place. So I can't really hone in on the oxygen. So consequently, I'm going to leave it be. I'm going to skip the oxygen for now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the N2O5. Why the N2O5? Because the N2O5, that's the only place in the top equations that it exists. N2O5 does not appear here or here. And so consequently, I know it's the second equation that I have to work with. So <clears throat> the N2O5, I need one of them, and I have one of them but I need it on the right-hand side, and it's over here on the left-hand side. So what I have to do is I have to take this whole equation, and I have to flip it, and take the products and turn them into reactants, and the reactants and turn them into products. So I'm just going to take that equation and write it in reverse. I'm going to write 2HNO3, and I'm going to go over here and form an N2O5 and an H2O. And in flipping it, I take my, my uh, value here, and because I don't have to multiply it or divide it by anything, I can leave it as the 74, right? But I flipped it, so I have to change its sign to positive 74 because I flippified it backwards. And now I've got the N205, and I got the N205. And I got my N2, and I've got my N2. So this equation here and this equation here I know are locked into place, and I don't have to move them anymore. Now the question becomes, what do I do with my uh, top equation? Well, <clears throat> my top equation here, H2O2 and H2O, I'm going to have to use that to take care of some of these things that are here in my equation here. Because if you notice, my HNO3 here cancels out with my HNO3 here. I've got two of them on the left, two of them on the right. They are already canceled because of my first two equations that I used. So I like to do that to get it out of the way so that it doesn't clutter my vision. 
So in looking at this guy, um, I know that uh, I do not want water anywhere in this equation. This is the equation that I want, right? There is no water. There is no H2O anywhere in this equation. And so consequently, if there's no H2O in this equation that is there, then this H2O that I have over here, it's got to go because I can't end up with any H2O in my target equation. So that's what I'm going to focus on now. I've got one water and it's on the right hand side. So if I want to get rid of that, and I do, because again, I can't have any water in my target equation here, then I need to make sure that I have one water, one H2O on the left hand side. How am I going to do that? I'm going to take this equation and I'm going to flip it and I'm going to cut it in half. And if I flip it and I cut it in half, then all of a sudden my equation is H2O comes over here to form H2 plus one half O2. And in flipping it and cutting it in half, I turn this into positive 286 because this guy here has to be multiplied by negative a half because I flipped it negative and I cut it in half. There's my half. And now check out what, hap what happens here, guys. My H2O on the left and my H2O on the right are gone. And then if I check out this, my hydrogen on the left and my hydrogen on the right are now gone. And now what I have is I have a half of an oxygen that's here. So that's going to go away. And this three oxygen that is here, <clears throat> because I killed a half an oxygen from before, this is now going to be five halves oxygen or two and a half oxygen. And now look what I've got. I have got my nitrogen, I have got five halves oxygen, and I've got my N2O5. So by using these three equations, I now have the equation that I want. So by adding up now all of these uh, things here, all I have to do is uh, put these into your calculator and you're done. So that's 348 negative, and I'm going to add 74 to it, and I'm going to add 286 to it. So you get an overall final answer by adding this and this together of positive 12 kilojoules.